How's it going? Who's going? Yeah? Go! 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 No, you're not gonna fucking suck up my shoes. Cause I'm gonna fucking kick your head in if you do. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I really will. That's right. I'm not fucking talking about. You like suck up on your shoes? No, but I fucking would beat the crap out of you if you did, mate. <laughs> and I'm sorry. I don't lie. So it's mine, so I'm gonna have to I don't wench. lie. Wench. I'm not a fucking wench, I'm a wench. fucking boy, mate. Are you fat? You're a woman, you've got teased. Yeah, what's the scene here today? What, this thing here? Yeah. All right, um, I don't know, it's just like, people put out flyers and said there's a punks picnic. There was a gig last night, and I think it's an all weekend thing going on. And, um, I don't know, it's just like get together really. So I've, oh, I've seen people from Bristol and London, and there's loads of foreign black people from Italy here as well. So that's what it is, just a gathering really. That, that's it. It's quite a major punk gathering all over the country. People come down from all over the place. Yeah, I suppose so, yeah. And like, it, you know, it takes like this week it's in London, then like there's a do in Edinburgh later, and you know, there's all sorts going on. And Nottingham in two weeks, same sort of thing. So. Yeah, that's what it is, really. So you're selling a zine? That's right. Build it up. Drunk on a bike. And that's from, like, last year. I used to do one before, like, three years ago, I'd say. But, like, because, like, there was loads of good stuff going on last year, I just thought, yeah, no, that's cool. And sort of, like, yeah, do a zine that sort of, you know, helps. There's loads of bands about and other fanzines and stuff, so I thought, yeah, might as well. So what's in that one? Sorry? What's in that one? This one, interviews yeah, with Defiance, who are from the States, Payne, who are from London, and Haywire, who are from Southampton, who are friends of mine, but they're all good bands, really. And, uh, uh, you know, Payne and Haywire, they played at all the sort of free dudes like this last year, so... And what's the game? No, the a game? Yeah. That's the board. It's a drinking Can game. I? That's the board. That's the actual board, yeah? These are the counters. And you stick them on two peas and you throw them onto the board and if it lands on a drink, you have to have a drink. And if it lands on a forfeit, you have to do one of the forfeits. Do you want to know what my favourite forfeit is? There's a couple. Hold your breath until you go a bit funny. Uh, drink so much water that your belly makes a sloshy noise. Uh, 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 do an impression of a snake with an itchy back. Talk like Sean Connery for half an hour. That's just one of a few of them, really. So that's what the game is. Well, and you have um, sort of a bike, bike counters. Hey, all right. Yeah. Explain the rules. All right, I was explain the rules. That's the board. And they're like instead of rolling a dice or whatever, yeah, you stick those onto a two p, uh, and like you throw them onto the count onto the board, 
so you have it on a flatter surface than this. Uh, this is and like once you do a forfeit, like you have the counters here, and so whatever counter you are, once you do a forfeit, you move along, and the winner's the ones that gets to the end. Sort of thing. So whoever does the, all the forfeits, really, I guess that's what it is. What do you think today? Today? That's all right. I went to the gig last night and that was good fun. And today's good. So, yeah, no, it's a good laugh, really. All in all. Punk's not dead. Punk. Punk's not dead. Punk's an attitude and it will never die. It doesn't matter what you're into or where you're from or what your hair looks like. And what you're dressed like. What you're dressed like. It doesn't matter what it is. You know, it's an attitude and it's apolitical, I suppose. But, you know, do it yourself. What punk is. Sort things yourself out, yeah. What do you think about the Sex Pistols charging 30 quid for a gig down in I think it's bollocks. <laughs> I don't see them now it's as bollocks, a... bollocks, yeah. mate, bollocks. I don't see them as, any, as a punk band. Because as I said, yeah, punk's an attitude about doing it yourself and sort of, you know, DIY, do-it-yourself attitude. And they're, right. just, they're just a rock band now, I reckon. The Sex Pistols probably got most of people here in the punk, yeah. And good on them, but... Um, now, 30 quid? No way. Fences as well. Fences. well yeah, yeah, you know, I see, you know, it's, you know, it, used to, it started now. off as a bit of a threat and a bit of a dangerous youth sort of thing, didn't it? Like late 70s, it was shocking. Sex Pips was getting together now, you know. I don't reckon most of the people here will bother going. You know, I don't think it's a punk thing at all, it's just another rock thing, really. It's not because they're too old, they're just. No, it's not punk to charge 30 quid to get into a gig when you're, um, uh, you're not doing anything interesting anymore, really. It's getting the money. It is. Attraction. It's, a, it's no, just another it it's money grabbing thing, really. And they say, I don't know what they say, they need some respect, but they've got enough respect from what they did 20 years ago. So, I mean, well, you know, whatever it was. <laughs> My dad's more punk than Sex Pistols, I'm afraid. Yeah? That's OK. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, you've had one now, haven't you? Yeah. 